You, darling, it's all about you. So tell me, what have you been up to while I've been away? Well, Mother, I'm glad the board is here. I've already explained to them that several decisions that you've made, including hiring Miss Dexter, is not in the best interest of this company. Therefore, the board and I have voted to retire you. Is that so? It's a unanimous decision. Unanimous? <laughs> what about my vote? For some reason, you don't have control of the share anymore. And you voted against me? Yes. Are you sure every member voted? Austin. It's all except the cavalry company. But they've been silent for 15 years. They never vote. Well, maybe it's high time they did. Are they here? Yes, they are. Abby, would you? Yes, ma'am. And with the three of y'all unanimously scoot to the other side of the table? Thank you. Sit here. Mother, this is precisely why this company thinks that you're incompetent of running this company. What are these annex, Mother? Please. <laughs> My son is so bright. Have you never considered looking into the managing members of the Calvary Company? Of course I have. It's Reynolds and Blanchett. That is my maiden name. I'm Blanchett. Austin, don't you remember your old colleague? What's going on? Well, Nick was one of the most powerful stockbrokers in this company until your little ego let him go. Apparently, he's been advising Alice for years. Imagine my surprise when I found out she has quite a few shares in this company. I take this as legit, right, Austin? It looks that way. So, Alice? Been doing a fine job, Charlotte. I see no reason to change now. <laughs> my sentiments, exactly. Well, now that I have the control and vote, there are a few changes effective immediately. Abby, I'd like for you to maintain as COO. And William, you're fired. Meeting adjourned.